Okay, you're gonna do something you're gonna think's really stupid, but I talked to Zach. He says this works. I'm gonna need Matt's help probably. But he says put a little gas in there, put your hand over it, and get it wound up and starting to run, because these will run on gas. And uh, sometimes that'll get the pump pressure up and fling the plungers out. So I don't know. Let's just see what this does here. He said sometimes you gotta use some ether to get it to, to take off, so. Okay, I think that'll work if I just get some help, somebody to crank on it while I do this. So I got two injector lines on, done over there, so if we do get it going, that'll bleed the air out and tell me whether or not the pumps are even going to work if it's spitting fuel out of them. So I better wait for Matt before I load it up on gas and blow the shit out of it. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> what you, where are you putting it? For straight intake. Oh, okay. So don't turn the wheel and crush me here or anything. All right.
really wound that up. <laughs> Okay, as you saw, Zach's idea worked. You have to use gas to sort of get it going, get it wound up, and then e use ether. It won't run on straight gas, but it will on the ether. So I've been through two cans of ether. You saw how far I had it wound up. And I had an injector line loose. Got a little bit of wet there, but we don't have the pulse. So all I can say is you probably got to check valve leak and then just the sheer pressure of the vein pump pushing some through but plungers are not working so at this point I'm just gonna give up <laughs> I hate doing that but I I think this one's worst case scenario and probably more than likely those plungers are stuck bad because it's spinning at that many RPM and putting quite a bit of pressure to it didn't loosen them up. I don't know what will. Anyway, the motor's the water's warm, but I'll tell you what, can of ether, nothing like warming it up with a can of ether. Things are hot. So got a little fuel out of that one and a little out of that one and that one. Never saw any out of these. Matter of fact, this one's absolutely dry. It's even dry down in the injector hole so this injector must leak pretty bad so it actually dripped all the fuel out of it I suppose so at this point I'm just gonna stop messing with it uh, go rent a crane do something whatever I gotta do I gotta I know we're gonna get busy with work here soon so I need to get a lifting device and get that motor out get my engine stand built to the hell with this gallon of junk.